On this episode of Pin My Setup, I'm going to be talking about your setups you submit for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more. So if you're interested in that, then sit back, relax, and interact, because the show starts now. It's time for the original setup show dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Hosted by Matt Philly with new special guests every week. Coming at you live in three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pin My Setup, episode number 185, recorded live on January 29th, 2017. My name is Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter, I'm Matt Philly. And as always, we are joined by producer Tom. Guys, believe in yourself. Wow. I like that. That was nice. Straight to the point. But not you, Fred. That Fred. guy. No, yeah, f- not don't Fred. believe in yourself. We do not like Fred. Yeah. Um, is there actually a Fred in the chat? Probably not. No. Okay, cool. Uh, um, quick announcement for everybody. If you want to join our Setabatics uh, Discord server, where we're on voice chat, text chat all the time, it's discord.gg slash Matt. Also, setabatics.com, over 20,000 members there. Go on over, get some feedback. And if you want to support the show with a fast pass, you go to pitmysetup.com slash perks. And we actually have five fast passes for today's episode alone. Second time it's happened this month. Thank you so much for the support. We appreciate it. If you get a fast pass, you get on the next episode, no matter what. Uh, And then finally, if you want to submit your setup, you got to do it now. And don't forget, you can always update your setup. So don't feel like, you know, it has to be the best thing ever. Just get a placeholder submitted now. Otherwise, you're screwed. PayMySetup.com slash Q. Tom, what are we booked up to? Like 292, I think. Holy moles. That's more than 100. Yep. I did math pretty fast. Uh, So that's, you know, things you got to know. But let's hop into the 13 setups. First one submitted by David. Now, David's 22. He's an avid gamer studying for architectural English engineering. Don't know how to speak English, but it's all good. Now, this was his original photo. And I kind of have a bone to pick with David because this damn dude, I swear to God, I sent in the photos and everything we needed for the show like for the fourth time and I was ready to go to bed. I checked email. Oh, David sent updated photos. Cool, David. Let's check them out. Now, it definitely improvements. You know, the first photo just looks a little bit more like, I mean, it's basically the same, but it doesn't look as messy. And I think the big thing is the cables coming out of the PC, although still crap and I'm still going to bash them on that. Uh, in the first photo, they look way more like random than just kind of all over the place. So, uh, you know, it's not over the fan this time on the right side. Uh, it's just, it's a lot cleaner coming out of there. So that's cool, but it's still not like an amazing setup. I'm not going to like, you know, tell him he's the best guy to ever touch the earth, but, uh, it's an improvement from the first photo, but the walls, Tom, the walls, you got to tell me that's just, oh, he had it since he was a kid. It's just, it has to be there. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying repaint the wall, but well, he actually, it's good news. He he wants to know what color you should go for. Oh, gray. Gray. Because that's what we always say. But really, look at his, his setup. I think it would work yeah. with the PC at least. Um, but do you agree with me that the desk is kind of holding him back a, a little it's, bit? It looks very old. looks like it's a hand-me-down or some, some sort. But uh, just got a new desk, bro. <laughs> yeah, it, that's got to be worked on. Also, I think that the monitors on the side, uh, in the second photo, like right there, they, they look pretty good. But in the first photo, they kind of look a little off. Uh, as long as the usability is there, then I'm, I'm okay with it. But just a bit interesting. Yeah. Now, someone just made a fat joke in the chat, something that happens pretty often. They said, I bet Matt couldn't fit through that door. Uh, yeah, that door. I, I agree. That That's a small-ass door for a big-ass boy. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but, you know, the speakers, I think, are fine, except for the actual control part that you kind of shoved in the corner over there. Uh, that's not really ideal. I mean, it's just like, I think the desk is not the prettiest thing. And then combined with one of the ugliest walls I've ever seen, it kind of kills what you're going for. Had it been like a super simple desk with gray walls, I think the setup would have just looked a lot nicer. Obviously, canceling all the stuff out that I don't like, it's not a bad setup. Uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind, maybe put a few of those things away. But for the most part, it's pretty good. You know, you got tissues and essential for any desk setup, especially triple monitors. Uh, but what do you think, Tom? You like it? You like the, the wall mounted PC? I think it's cool. I wish the cables were coming out a little nicer, like the wires yeah. and all that. It just doesn't look great. But I don't know how you would fix that. Wire mold titled together. Just a lot of, yeah, a lot of wire mold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just like everything, like not even like one just thing wire, wire mold, just like a bunch of wire yeah. mold, skinny ones. But yeah, I mean, if you repaint the wall, 
and got a bigger desk to actually fit that whole wall in between the doors. Mm-hmm. I think there's a doors, right? Is that a door on the other side? I think so, yeah. yeah. If that was like centered in the like wall, you'd, yeah, you'd have to move that whole wall mounted PC too. Yeah. I would just center myself, get a desk that fits that size. Like a Lin Mod, because he'd have so much more room. He doesn't yeah. have enough desk real estate here. Um, but I'd also probably knock the wall down and like redo the walls, because damn. <laughs> If you invite a big ass friend over, you're screwed. Also, look at I forgot the third photo. That's what I was gonna hate on you oh, for. Okay, Cause yeah. that's not even like an attempt, bro. Like the other photo, if you didn't send me this, I would have been like, that's not bad. I mean, yeah, because look that low down angle is such a like a cheat. Yeah, you can't see it. Yeah, he's like, ah, oh, it's so good. I spent all day. And then you look at that photo and you want to slap him upside the face. Uh so yeah, that's just awful. Um I mean, yeah, that I mean that's pretty straightforward. Uh next setup. Submitted by Art Tem or Artem. I Artem. don't know. Artem. He's yeah. 18. He uses his setup for gaming and doing homework. And God, that's like a far away photo. It's like, where are you? You, you. Anyways, uh, but yeah, you know, I gotta, I gotta be that guy. Stay on this photo, Tom, and, and zoom in on the desk. Now, the desk itself oh, is starting to smile just a little bit. I mean, it's a happy desk, which is nice. You know, it's a happy, happy desk. But goddamn, dude, that triple mod, uh, double dual mod, that words English, dual monitor arm is killing your death. <laughs> like a slow, painful de- uh, death until it just pff, destroys it in half. So do you guys see it? I don't know. Uh, apparently, it was an old dresser that he changed into a desk. Fun fact, when something's not a desk and you use it as a desk, sometimes it's not going to work. Uh, and I don't like the separate piece for the keyboard yeah. and all that. So, I understand why it's there, but it's just... No. Yeah. So, I, I definitely think that's the first thing. I don't think theme is that nice. Um, like, the decal... I, I'm not a big fan of that decal. I, don't, it's, I get what it. I'm not stupid. I'm not like what is it though. Like I just don't think it looks that cool. It looks really messy and it's like a waste of such a nice blank wall space. Uh, you know, you have the chimp on the right side. I'd like to see more colorful posters like that. Uh, but what do you think of the decals? I, I mean, it just it's hard. I, I feel like you have to place like each one. I don't know how the decal comes. Like, does it come like one piece? Like, imagine you had to do each word. Yeah, but like I don't know. It seems like that kind of because he's got like the Greenland like up there and all that, and like he had to place it like in that spot. I, I don't know. It's just it's not a good decal. Yeah. If he did it right, maybe, but it just looks weird. It's, it doesn't even look centered either. Yeah, and people are talking about the TV. The TV again. I've said this a million times. The TV is perfectly level. I'll even take a photo for all you guys. It's either the tripod because actually the tripod looks a little like that. Um, but also we're on a shed that's probably sliding. That's why yeah. I always feel like I'm it's going not down. fully flat, not yeah. fully level. Anyways, if you type tilt the TV, we're gonna ban you. So yeah, mods, bring out the man hammer. So uh, yeah, this setup though, I think like it's weird having the dual PC and the, the floor over there. I mean, the cables aren't terrible because really it's all pretty well done it's just the two random ones you see coming out um but yeah it's it's just a simple straightforward setup but i think the desk is killing you you have the perfect spot set up but you're kind of killing yourself you know what i mean so um wow a lot of people are about to get banned in the chat and i'm i'm looking forward to it <laughs> uh i already banned one myself ba- yep ban you put you can't put like you know an emote next to it to be funny ban yeah. ban 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 Anyways, cool. Uh, next setup submitted by Jack. I don't want to be a dick, Jack, but we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. <laughs> it's okay. The problem is Jack, who's 14 and uses setup for gaming and schoolwork. Uh, basically, you know, you got Razor Apple stickers. I mean, that's just like against the law on your drawer, especially put it on your drawer. But you got CDs and wires and all that stuff sitting there. Uh, you don't have enough room for your mouse. If you look at the mouse, the mouse is basically on the edge. You don't have a mouse pad. Even if you don't like a mouse pad, that's just no bueno, senor. Uh, but also, I think the desk is not deep enough. You're basically right up against uh, the monitor with the keyboard. You don't have room to do anything. It's just not a great setup uh, with what you have. It's probably a good desk if you were just using it for like schoolwork, like actual paper, no monitor, anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I-, I definitely think... You need a little bit of something. <laughs> I mean, I don't like the striped walls. I say all the time, yeah, you're you're younger, so whatever. But try to get your parents to just be like, please give me a goddamn desk that actually works. Uh, but that's it, right, Tom? Yeah, that's, that's all you can say about it. Yeah. Next setup submitted by Paul, who is 15. He's a freshman in high school. And it looks like he's kind of out in the living room area. 
Um, but his mom was like, yeah, whatever. You could just put your goddamn posters up and take over my damn living room. Uh, you know how, like, they always have those crappy jokes. Like, yeah, yeah you're in my living room. So, and that he probably, I don't know, he may have gotten in trouble staying up too late on the computer. And his mom's like, you can have your setup, but it's going to be out in the living room. So I'll know where you are, bitch. Uh, he probably got caught doing something. He's like, okay, uh, your, your setup's yeah, beyond the living it. room. But she was nice enough to be like, you can put the posters up. Yeah. Otherwise, Matt's going to be an asshole. So just put them up. Uh, really, though, I think that the, the biggest problem with this setup, yeah, I get it. You like the PC. You don't want to put it on the side of the desk because then it's out in the walkway. So if you go through the hallway, you break your big toe. And then you have to go and pay a lot of medical bills and stuff. So I get that. But the thing is, hey, man, it's not going to work where it is. So you're going to want to boom, boom, and beep. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just not going to work there. Uh, it makes your speakers and your monitors, everything kind of look messy when really it's not a bad setup. You have the cool mic, everything like that. It would work perfectly if the PC wasn't there or if the PC was a little bit smaller. Uh, also, you know, obviously cable management, you know, you got really shoved into the corner of the subwoofer coming out of the monitor, all that. So a little bit crazy. So needs to be worked on nonetheless. And it's not even like you have cool LEDs going on on the inside of the PC. You know, it's, it's very underwhelming. So Definitely don't see the part of it, like the point of it being there. But, you know, the two posters, that's really the most you can do. It's not like your mom's going to let you put up a shelf on the right side or anything like that. So it, it's an okay theme, but it's not an overwhelming in your face kind of theme. So I, I, I don't know. It's it's not terrible. It really isn't. It's just not amazing. You, you get that, right? Yeah. I would just have one poster. <laughs> two posters is pushing it. Too cramped for too that cramped. area. Yeah. I would have your favorite poster up there. I agree. Um I would just be like, Ma, let me go back to my room, please. <laughs> Mom, please. please. Let me please. decorate the living room, Mom. Yeah. Otherwise, Matt's going to be mean again. Uh, but yeah, cool setup. Next setup, though. Oh, this one makes me so mad. Submitted by Daniel. He's 13. I get it. You're 13. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Cool. Great. Nice. But the part that really pisses me off is he said, I'm like, Bro, the desk is obviously not going to work for your monitor. You, you can't even put it. I mean, I think he could actually make it fit if he really tried. Uh, but... I mean, don't even tell me that's usable. Like, really, do not even tell me that's usable. Yeah. Like, feels good. Feels good, except for my neck. <laughs> uh, but this is the part that pisses me off, right? It's it's a cool-looking desk, too. The LEDs, yeah. whatever. He said the desk was built by his dad. Your dad doesn't love you! Why? Hey, dad, here's my desk set up now. I need it to work, but I want it to be custom by you. And he's like, cool, I'll make sure it doesn't work. Bam! Bro, I'm sorry. Your dad doesn't love you because that is awful. You literally have everything you need. And he's like, I'm going to make sure the shelf isn't big enough. Like, what? Y you see what I'm seeing, right, Tom? Yeah. I feel like maybe the desk was built before he even was into setups. Because how old is he? 13. No, it, he made it sound like in his email, like it was built he had a setup it. and his daddy was like, I build one for you bro and then I mean, it's an impressive build it looks like it came from like a department store it, like it looks like a great desk i actually kind of don't work. believe it uh it, yeah it does, because looks it looks real. pretty clean <laughs> yeah it looks pretty good but i don't know it just unless work. he's referring to the top piece you Maybe. know like the the glass section he's got a glass thing that goes the amount of Maybe his dad blows glass Ooh. He's a glass blower. <laughs> He's a glass blower. Uh, really though, God, man, the the cables on the right side. It's not, I can't. I'm not gonna. Uh, I did score it, but we're not gonna talk about it. Uh, sorry, man. Simon, 26 years old. Now he loves gaming. He loves music. He's been playing guitar for 18 years, and he even played competitive Battlefield at one point. His YouTube is Hyperion Gaming, and. Yeah, you know, this is one of those situations where being a guitar fanatic, dude, like shredding up those fucking... Oh, <laughs> didn't mean the curse. <laughs> Damn, I've been trying to keep this PG, and I'm just yeah. not doing too good lately. It's okay to have one, you know. I, was, it was, I didn't even finish the sentence, you know, yeah. so the word. But anyways, um, like, he's got every pedal known the man ever released, which is awesome. Like, I definitely think that's cool. My dad is so into guitars. He literally has too many guitars for our house. Um, but I mean, it is a little overwhelming. So of course that's going to kind of play a part in it. I do like that. Your closet stores the, the guitars though on a nice rack. I think that's really cool. Right, Tom? That's, yeah. that's pretty cool. Nice. Um, and I like that he's got all the star Wars stuff. Now, the whole um, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, like that, that's like kind of overboard. I mean, those things are huge and they were expensive at Target and stuff. But I mean, that's kind of, I, I don't 
do you guys think it's too big, Tom? What are your thoughts? I mean, maybe, maybe he takes one to bed when he goes to sleep yeah. and he holds it. <laughs> yeah, like but I feel like like sleeping at night, and then you wake up and you just have them like staring at you. It's a little uh, weird. It's like mini people just like running around trying yeah, they're, to. Because they're huge. It's not like a six inch figure. I mean, that's like a like a twenty four inch. Figure. Yeah, but he has like no room to put it like anywhere else. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I just think it's a little. I mean, it's cool, but it's just a little like, like he's got a whoa. camera underneath Darth Vader. Oh God! So that's where he like like where he secretly records Does he ever, his like, bed you know, sessions to his girlfriend. Here's Darth Vader with a camera attached. Don't <laughs> yeah. mind the camera. Don't mind the camera. <laughs> uh, um, now, okay. Like I like the theme. I think it's cool. It's different. It's unique. But look at the third photo, right? This is where it's a little weird to me. I get it. CS Go, competitive, blah, blah, blah. That's why the keyboard looks so stupid. Um, but just the usability seems off to me. The left monitor doesn't seem super usable. I like where the PC is. I don't think that's bad. You know, the mixer, sure, it's there. It's usable, but it's like completely rotate. It just seems a little like last minute. Let's put it where it's got to go. There are no speakers, uh, which I also thought was a little weird. And obviously, considering you, you like guitars and stuff, I would think you'd like music as a whole. So you'd have speakers. Um, but I, I just think it's like the monitors. I mean, they got some smudges. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if but, you turned them on, once again, it would not yep. be there. It wouldn't and show. don't you think uh, like in the first two photos, those would also look better if like the TV was on as well? Oh, yeah, definitely. It would make the room look a lot cooler, especially if it was like, bam, you know, uh, match the theme, you know, close up a Darth Vader with a little creepy smile on his face. But, uh, you know, I think it's I think it's a cool setup. I think that the usability is a little, a little eh. And then I think that, you know, accessories lacks a little. I think LEDs would look awesome in here. Um, you know, some Philips Hue, something like that. But kind of, I just had in mind with the pedals, that's a little bit. But like for the most part, it, it's a it's a pretty good score. Um, but you know, you have the headphones there. Don't really have a spot for them to stay all the time. You have the laptop with the mouse there. So usability with that's not great. With the amp underneath, it's cool. It's a great room. I just think there's some like you know a little bit of beep beep and a bop bop to kind of fix it up you, know you guys figure that out okay <laughs> yeah what i don't know means. what a beep beep or a bop bop is but if you guys can figure it out it'd be awesome um it's cool though right it's, it's yeah, a good starting like point i like it the room's cool yeah it is it's definitely cool i like the guitars next up bradley he's 12 and he says that he uses this setup specifically for his youtube channel and a little bit of gaming and a little bit of this Ooh, he's, and that he's just, 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 a, just like a little a little bit, just not too much, just a little. Uh, if you want to check him out on YouTube, it's Brad X Stir. So Brad Stir with an X in the middle because why not? Uh, so this setup, you know, we got some cables going across the desk, all around, make a little circle on the floor. And this guy is obviously very creative. He likes making different movements with his cables in all sorts of ways. Uh, and then he's got what looks like, you know, <laughs> I almost had a joke. That was too much stuff. <laughs> The lamp, though, looks like, you know, the Pixar lamp had a kid and uh, he obviously him dropped him down the stairs a couple of times because <laughs> I don't know. Like, well, I, it looks like he just has a smaller head, you know? Just, yeah, that's but he looks so sad. He's just like, yeah. Ugh. yeah, what is the light pointing at? <laughs> I don't know, but it's like maybe when he has his left hand on the keyboard, he's like, shine, <laughs> shine it up, baby. Um, but you know, we can at least give him a little bit for theme. He's got Far Cry, he's got NBA, uh, which is that's my boy Jordan, right? Yep, cool. Uh, right? Yeah, you really had to ask that was correct or not? Yeah, uh, you know, he's got some stuff. How was that? How was that racist? I said that he looks like he was dropped down the stairs. That is not ra- it's a lamp. Oh my god, okay. Uh, but he's got some candy <laughs> stuff like that, so I think that's pretty interesting. It, it, it's what do you say for that, Tom? It's just like straightforward. Yeah, it's probably not a lot he can do at his age right now. So I mean, this is fine. This mm-hmm. is fine. I'd fix the wires at least. You know, do yourself a service. Yeah. Make them at least like come together. You know. You know, know what I just realized, Tom? The computer says February twelfth, which by the way is my birthday. So thank you. But he sent this in like September. So this dude took a photo. Either his time is just so off yeah, on like his computer. He didn't get the time. Or right. he like took it in February and he's like, this shit's gold. And then he found my show and he's like, this shit is really gold. <laughs> They're going to find this shit. What gold. is going on with that? Yeah, that's weird. I didn't know. This. Someone pointed it out in chat, but yeah, I definitely think having, you know, the headphone stand, blah, the things we always say, that's what this needs. So, and maybe not a lamp that looks so sad and like... Or at least have it point 
somewhere toward your setup or just I, not I have hate it. those kind of lamps though i really do yeah you need one that actually gives off like an okay amount of light but uh tom do you like go go to a shot of you real quick we need, we need to talk to you real quick do you like wwe i mean you I don't love it. it well that's good because look at this next setup <laughs> Next set of the day is submitted by Dylan, who's 16. He uses a setup for video editing and Xbox gaming. He loves WWE, just like Tom. And his YouTube channel is Mr. Brown Man with two N's. Now that's racist. Um, anyways, yeah. I've been looking forward to this setup because we've been caught that like 35 times trying to really? get a good photo for this. Oh and because like a picture difference is like dimension size was always off and all that. Finally got a good picture. But Well, look at the, the raw little thing the fight over there the, the, the do, ring yeah. do you see that tom dude are you excited you're a big wwe fan you've been waiting for this setup yo they got uh the mania coming up yes <laughs> <laughs> you try to get it's kind of hard because it's at the tippy top of the photo but yeah. try to show this guy if you've ever heard about wrestling before this guy's like nah you don't know wrestling you don't know wrestling like i do i mean Wow. And so it's just like, and his name is John Cena. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, really, though, wow. Guys, in the chat, comments, is that too much? Is it too much so. for the shelf? I don't think so. <laughs> well, what about the ring? I, I mean, the ring is awesome because then he's like, his friends come over and he's like, yo, let's do some WWE. Bro, if they I was grab his their friend, favorite character and go down on, on the ring. <laughs> go down. <laughs> <But, but I laughs> go down on each other. <laughs> Dude, if, if I was his friend, like if he went to the bathroom, I'd do something like really messed up with the figures and just leave it like that. It looks like the one guy is like trying to do something with them. <laughs> yeah. They're not wrestling. I'll just say that, boys. Uh, really, though, the setup, let's talk about that. That. The left side is way too cramped. I feel like using the laptop itself is a little bit tricky um, because it's so pushed to the left. But, you know, you need a little bit of storage. Cables need to be fixed. Just a smidge going around on top of the desk, not necessarily underneath. You know, the left side, I think the controller stand, all that is cool. But I think it needs to be kind of organized in a better <clears> way. Uh, really utilize that left side a lot more. Like, do you use that screen that's right where the Xbox is just for the Xbox because if so then I don't really care for where that monitor is right now it should be a little bit closer so on and so forth so uh, and the mic arm is also not really in a great spot because if you think about him trying to pull it over it would kind of be over in front of his laptop you know what I mean yeah so you know things like the games got to go but hey man you know the WWE you got a hundred already so <laughs> all because of Tom he literally said you got to give him a hundred yeah I'm like there's no way he doesn't get a hundred on this one <laughs> But I don't know if the ring would fit on the left side, and maybe if he centered himself more with the laptop and all that, maybe yeah. moving the maybe just like monitor. switch, yeah, just switch the whole side around, see if that works. Yeah. I don't know how the usability would be, but or I'll at least switch it. Put the right monitor where the ring is. Put the ring in the corner, and you could leave the Xbox there. Yeah, something like that. No, I agree. That's a that's a good idea. Um, oh yeah, and someone else just pointed out. I was about to say the speaker placement because of where that left monitor is is not ideal. It's not good, so definitely got to fix it. And why do people put their goddamn speakers up against their computers and laptops? That's not how it works. No, it's not like the closer it is, the better it sounds. Because that's not how it works. Well, he just wants his right ear to get hit like really yeah, hard. He's like, oh yeah, give it to me. WWE Raw, baby. Yeah. Anyways, he just listens to their intro music all the time. Uh, anyways. It's funny because I would actually kind of have fun playing with the figures. Like, dee, Honestly, dee, yeah, I've always dee. wanted to do it, but I'm just like, you know, I'm not going to buy all those action figures and get one of those things. It's like, yeah, whatever. I've never really liked WWE. Yeah. But uh, All right. Next setup submitted by Dale. Dale 16. And, well, we don't know much about Dale, but what we do know oh, Dale. is <laughs> Dale, uh, Dale, Chip and Dale. God, I can't zoom in for some reason. Uh, Dale, he's doing a lot of exercise. If you read that whiteboard, this boy Dale's getting fit. He's getting fit. He's got some deadlifts and things to do. Yeah, Dale. Yeah. He's got his passwords. Guys, guys, he has his passwords on. on the, oh, my God. I really hope that's that. not anything. I, I, yeah. I, I hope not. Well, Tom just zoomed in, so. Yeah, guys, guys, go sign into his account. You know his username, right? Yeah. Oh, God. DaleJr.com. Uh, he can't blame us. He's the one that did it. Anyways, uh, so Dale here has got himself a pretty good white setup. The only problem is it looks a little bit dirty. Uh, the, like, the wall, does it look a little dirty? Where? I don't know, like, it I guess, look you know, I think what's doing it to me is the bed sheets are like off, like they're brownish and like the tan, which it makes everything else look tan and like kind of dirty. Maybe it's not actually dirty. No. Um, also, the, <laughs> I'll read in chat. The shelves, I think are a little bit too high. 
uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't really see what's on them. So a little bit weird. But I think everything else is pretty cool. Do you think the cars are a little too much on the uh, on the the desk desk desk? Yeah. Uh, no, they're fine. They're fine. I was looking at the cars up on top. Yeah. But yeah, those are fine because they're not like taking over the whole setup. They're just off to their right, you know, showing off the safety cars. Yeah, I like it. Cable's pretty good. Uh, actually, very very good. Uh, just that the goddamn headphone. You know, I don't I think, think it's the end of the world. I think no, headphone no, 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 cables no. are. I'm saying for the photo, it would have just made the setup look. Yeah, if you just oh. took it out, yeah. and especially if it was detachable. I, uh, yeah, but uh, really, it's great setup. It's nice. It's neat. It's okay in terms of like theme. We can't see the above. You know, the cars. It's cool, but like, is there more to it? We see like a little bit there, but I just like to see what the whole room is like. I feel like it's a little too white. Maybe a little bit of color. That's why having some car posters or even more model cars that have bright colors would look really, really cool. Um, but yeah, you know, Tom, I got something to say, man. This next setup, it's a headache. It's a headache. And I feel bad because it is one of the fast passes like the last one was. First off, it's submitted by Sam. Except his name also said James. So he's got maybe an identity crisis. Not sure. But he's 20 years old. He uses the setup for editing and playing games as well as watching movies. Now, I just it really irritates me because he's got the perfect desk. Especially in the second photo, you kind of see how wrong he's using. Like, ah, oh, and I, I don't want to be a dick, but like, dude, the desk has the curve because you sit in the curve. In it. So when you're sitting there, you should be facing literally the corner of your wall. Why is it completely sideways? You see what I'm saying, Tom? Like, if you're sitting in it and you are using that iMac, you are quite literally like this. Unless you sit like this with half the desk going into your side. A lot of it doesn't work. A lot. I would just not have anything on the desk and just leave your setup forever yeah and, and someone just said back. no you're wrong how can i be wrong about that look at it look at where it is look at where the keyboard and mouse is now tom go full screen on me that means if i'm sitting in the smiley right the smiley face i am like this this is so comfortable everybody i love it or i'm like this with the desk going into my ribs you can't tell me i'm wrong that's it Done. Easy. Now, out of sight, out of mind, you got to look behind the monitor. Not good. A lot, a lot of random crap. Too much crap. Cables, everything. You name it, it's there. It, it's just just too much. The cables underneath, the carpet needs to be vacuumed. Uh, the one Ethernet cable that goes across, that's not good. Um, and the guy's like, chill, I'm joking. Yeah, he's probably like, oh, shit, he's right. Yeah, I'm yeah. joking, dog. Dude. <laughs> Step back. Uh, but really, too much going on here, man. And and the reason I'm frustrated is because you have the perfect desk. You have stuff on this shelf. You have a lot of cool things, man. Just utilize the space correctly, and this will be a great setup, 100%. Just I don't understand how people can do this and say, yeah, it's a good damn setup. I know, I'm going fast past that shit on the swashing. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, sorry, man. I, I just... You can fix it. You really can. Speaking of fixing it, next setup, Eric. 17 years old, right? Looking at this photo. This was on episode 178. He likes gaming. He uses the right side for homework and sketching. He's a fan of the Arkansas Razorbacks and Coca-Cola, hence the black and red. But I told the guy. I was like, listen, Eric, my man. Zoom in on those shelves, Tom. Uh, I meant the, oh, like I mean the cubby sh- holes. Sh- cu- well, yeah, yeah, also the shelf. We'll look at in a second. Yeah. But do you see how, like, crowded that is? There's just no rhyme or reason to that. And especially above, you know, he had the actual Coke pack. And it, it just, everything looked a little cramped. And, and just, it kind of took away. Because we were saying, if you look at his setup, setup's pretty damn good. It's really simple. He's got the room for his, his homework. He's got a pretty good usable setup. And you agreed with me, right? Yeah, it was great. But now, he said, hey, I'm back, man, okay? My name's Eric, and look at this now, okay? Boom! Damn! Doom, doom, damn! I mean, if you look, maybe if you go to the third, fourth, fo- third, third photo, um, you kind of see, look how much more clean it is. It's just not as much shit shoved into each hole. That sounded weird. Uh, 
You see what I'm saying, though, Tom? No, yeah, it's way more clean. It's like, and it looks like they all fit the shelf like perfectly too. Yeah, and, and look at the first photo at the top, and look at yeah, look at the change there on the shelf. A lot simpler, and that's what I told them, man. Like nobody really cares that you have every festive thing ever collected, but if you have like the cool bottles and, and you know things like that up there, it'll look awesome. Just a big improvement from really what it was i mean i still feel that more in the corner is a little like yeah like over there maybe those boxes and all that stuff on the shelf are a little too much but the the calyx cubic thing over there on the side it's a lot nicer now granted i mean it's not like i, I think that photo really sells it yeah but the the, the taller shelf is still a little too much yeah, it's just the boxes that make it look way more cluttered than it needs to be. Yeah, it, it's it's true. Uh, but as long as like the, the other cubes are fixed, at least he's starting to condense. He probably had to throw out too much. And he's like, God damn it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, cables, we see like the two, three, whatever. Um, pretty straightforward. But, you know, I, I do think another thing, I said this in the email to him to send brighter photos. The, the lighting is hurting him here, too, because it just makes things too dark. Where the contrast blends in and makes things look a little more cluttered, um, but yeah, still you gotta condense, but like you gotta give him props at least. He he did get rid of a lot, so just a little bit more at a time. But the setup itself, if I block out the back, you you did good there, so not bad at all. You agree? Yeah, I like the placement of the desk. Like usually it's like not good to have a, a desk and then have like shelving in the back, but I think it kind of works in the setup. Yeah, it, like it, it's like a nice background to your monitors when you're looking you're like, oh, that's my favorite Rubik's cube up there. And <laughs> they go back to doing work on your setup. I think it's good. I think he did a better job with uh, condensing. Yeah, he, he definitely improved it. But of course, as always, more to be done. Next setup is submitted by Lemuel. I think it's like Lemuel. Samuel, but it's like Lemuel. 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 Hello, Lemuel. Uh, he's 26 years old. He's a uner. Uner. That's a He's word. a universe. He's a universe. Uh, user interface developer for a software company. Uses triple monitor setup for work uh, and a little bit of PC gaming. And then the right side is used for his wife. So, yeah, that kind of explains, like, my, I guess my beef with the, the right side is it's a lot. Uh, if you zoom back in, you'll see, like, the... Po- uh, the printer and like it, that side just looks a little too crazy um the setup part of it is nice but like the in between of the two setups is where it gets a little crazy but um looking at the first photo i do think outside out of mind maybe a few things that could kind of be shoved away but i like the the pop vinyls of the dbz stuff that's really cool and we'll see a little bit more uh dbz in the next setup uh which is fun and i think it's good if you were to cut out the right side of that photo that has all the other stuff on the right side, the right side of the photo. You cut out the right side, yeah. Oh well, I'm not saying physically. Cut. Oh, okay. I'm saying zoom in the show why I'm yeah, like all that stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if all that was gone, don't you think it would be super simple, straight yeah, to the it's point? Just the nice. printers are just way too much. Yeah. Um, theme, you know, I think the theme is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I like it. I, I don't think there's too much more to do to it. You know, it's like obviously he's scandal democracy hacked kind of thing um and he's also showing stuff on the desk and he's got a little bit of red flowing through which i like a little hint of that um you know i'm not a huge fan of this color desk always like i always say that but like it just it's a great desk it's you know, the whole room it just works it's nice obviously we're not critiquing the right side as it's not yours um but the cable management on your side is is great it, it looks good I like the overall room. I think it's really, really nice. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a great setup. What do you think, Tom? I like it. I like the little slits uh, underneath the desk yeah. where he puts his RGB remote. And I don't know what that is. But, yeah, he's got, like, little slits where he can shove stuff in, which is cool. Yeah. I've never seen that before. He has a lot of room. You know, he's got drawers. He's got every So, his storage is good. It's a great setup. I think it's, although it's a lot with the triple monitors and everything, it, it still comes across as simple to me and kind of just, like, effective. So, I really like it. Um, I, as always, though, I think that you can always take things to the next level. I'm sure he has ideas that he'll do eventually, but I think maybe focusing on kind of pimping out the right side a little bit more would be awesome. I think her side is actually pretty cool. With uh, it, it looks pretty clean if you look by the keyboard and mouse and everything, and the speakers and all that. Um, but I think it's like 
figuring out maybe the printer, controller, phone, all that stuff makes it look a little more than it than it needs to be. But I, I still think it's a great setup, you know? Yeah. So, eh, cool. All right, final setup of the day here. We're going to stay roll here, mates. Or, okay. Uh, submitted by Pedro. He's sturdy. Now, he's majoring in computer science. He was actually on episode 160 with this. And since then, he's upgraded everything. We'll see in a second. The reason I bashed his setup... And it's a great setup. It really, it's a, it's a wonderful setup. But I said that the piece that comes out just completely destroyed his setup for me. I, I, I lost it. Cause look at the amount of, he's got filing cabinets. It was like so many different working pieces just to get the desk. And, and I think you were agreeing with me that it's not. Yeah. Cause it's not even a desk. It's just like a slab of wood. I mean, slab of whatever that is and cabinets. That's yeah. It. And not only that, we were saying like the, the, wall art is pretty yeah pretty soft yeah it's like minimal it's like it's, very like ugh, yeah like that doesn't what? really mean anything it's too small it doesn't really have a like a meaning behind it so i told him that and he said all right dog i'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm do something about that and then bam bam damn damn really i mean you get yourself an actual desk it changes everything the monitors look way bigger um they really do the speakers are usable the dragon balls are pretty dip um the wall art he actually printed out himself which they look a little dull uh i don't know if it's just a photo but they don't really look like the color is like popping like it should be uh but i mean look at the pc which is not on the carpet and it looks awesome all the leds looks really nice he even mounted the usb hub under his desk so it's easy and accessible now <clears throat> the one thing i i, I immediately saw that i just wanted to smack off the desk was the damn plants what is people's fascination with like it's almost like he bought them he's like yeah i'm gonna use these and he didn't realize how big the monitors was Ma- monitors were sorry english uh so he's like i'll still put them there but i'll put them right on the edge god that looks so bad it looks so bad please take them off the desk i hope they kind of fall and i hope that they were real and it like soiled your whole floor um but they're fake so it doesn't matter but don't you agree tom yeah they're not necessary at all like, he probably wished they had he had room underneath the monitors to place yeah. them but it just wasn't the case i'd <laughs> get rid of them yeah do what you do with the speakers and just land <laughs> <laughs> just all the dirt comes out yeah and sometimes they kind of roll around and stuff like, and he's just looking at it like okay i'll take the picture yeah i i just never really cared for fake plants like sometimes they work and they really add another element but you're going for a badass dbz super saiyan kind of shit you know so i just feel like yeah and here are my little plants like it just doesn't match what you're going for uh so i would definitely throw that into a fire pit and call it a day not needed especially for uh a clean ass setup i mean honestly amazing job you really really did uh you really outdid yourself and i think you finally got it to the point we're like, this is a badass setup. And like I said, really, it's just the wall art. It's a little underwhelming in the color, right? I don't know. I kind of like it. I, I don't think it's supposed to be, like, super poppy, but I don't... <laughs> no, it just... Like, look at the blue and all that. Like, it just looks faded. Yeah, I mean, it might be different in, in, in person, but I don't know. They look fine I, don't know. I just I look at the screens. I look at every the other part. The photos look like the color really pops, and those just look really dull. Um, but he printed them himself, so maybe he didn't have a, like... It didn't print the best it could um but very very nice setup great improvements and the second photo there just really shows how it looks at night the dragon balls light up That's ooh, cool. yeah man ooh, i like that uh awesome setup and obviously we can see the cable management uh you know right through a signal bada bing bada boom hey man pedro good job none the less time you know what time it is nope what time is Me it? either, man. I think uh, 1249. Holy shit, that's a long episode. Uh, okay. Here we go. Scores. David with the 60. Artem with the 70. Jack with the 58. Paul with the 72. Daniel with a 50. Simon with the 74. Bradley with the 62. Dylan with the 76. Dale with an 84. Sam with the 56. Eric with an 86. Lemuel, or Lemuel uh, 92. Pedro with the 94. Hey, what you know about that? Hey, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching that episode. I don't know. Was it a shitty episode? Kind of. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. You can check Tom at Thomas Philly on yes. Twitter. Me at Matt Philly. 
Uh, that's mm. going to do it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you on Tuesday, which is, is isn't that the last day of the, uh, January? I think so. Goddamn. How time goes. Okay. See you later. Bye.